Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial here with Dan Allen, Dan Allen Castle. If you like what you see, subscribe. If not, run away and hide. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Precision Editor. This is a new feature to Final Cut Pro 10. It was actually included in the iMovie app for the iPad. I don't know whether that's a good sign. Probably not. But oh well. Um, it's still a very useful feature um, in itself. The basic idea is it allows you to adjust the cuts in between shots. Now, if you're new to editing, the cut is literally the transition between one shot and another. So this bit here, you can see the icon changes as you hover from each one. Um, now, when you're not in the precision editor, we know we're not at the moment because we can see all our timeline and it looks um, fairly normal. Oh my god, I'm trying to scroll. Um, you can see when we hover over on this side, um, the icon kind of faces towards this clip. And then if we hover over the other side, you can see that the middle bit flips over um, to face this clip. And basically what that means is it's letting us know which side we're trimming. So if we grab this side and drag, you can see um, that we're actually trimming from the clip on the right and you can see we can just clip away as much as we want and I'm just going to undo that and oh, and if we were to do it to the other side we can uh, drag and reduce the duration of this clip and it lets you know how many frames you're reducing based on uh, this little speech dialog box here I'm just going to leave it how it was so to edit enter the uh, precision editor what you're going to need to do is double click on the cut and you can see that it slides out into um, a familiar looking design like I said from iMovie and there's a lot of stuff going on here um, what is going on? well basically here's the clip that was on the right here's the clip that was on the left and you can see that in the darkness we actually have a continuation of this clip and then obviously on this side we have a continuation of this clip and that is just letting us know the footage and media that we have um, to the left side if you consider that um, it, the the um, the timeline travels from left to right I'm sorry, storyline in Final Cut Pro 10 the storyline travels from left to right so you can see that we've got media leading up to this shot um, that's actually part of this shot that would be a part of it in the media browser. So we can just drag this and extend the shot out, kind of like what we were doing earlier. Um, but in this case, you can see exactly what media you're adding, and it still lets you know how many frames you're adding. And then you can do the same on this side. And you can also reduce the length as well. And then you can grab this middle bit, and that will adjust both at the same time. So for every frame you take away from one side, you're adding to the other side. And that allows you to really fine-tune your edits. It's a very useful tool um, and good for adjusting, a very easy way of adjusting the cuts in your shots. Um, the other cool thing is that um, if you double-click on any of these other dots, that's basically going to open up the precision editor for that cut. So if we double click here, sorry, you meant to single click, my bad. If we click on another cut, let's click on this one, you can see it opens the precision editor for here. Um, and in this shot particular, this is actually just a blank piece of footage, and I'm going to cover that in the next tutorial. So I hope this was useful. Um, you can see obviously now we can just do exactly what we just did with the new edit that we just opened. And it also works with transitions in that you can extend the transition, you can move the transition, and you can edit the start and end points of each shot on the transition. So that pretty much is the precision editor. That's what it does. And you just double click to exit on any transition point. And it's very handy. It is a good tool. Um, I would strongly recommend using it. It is very quick and fluid just to quickly nip in and add a few shots and then to close it and then obviously for lining up shots it's also very handy so I hope you found this useful um, show your friends what you can do in your cool new Final Cut Pro 10 
and I'll see you again going over adding gaps to the timeline.